morning, fans of Privateer FX. Coming at you on the second to last Monday of 2018, trading wise. It's December 10th today. We get a busy week ahead of us, should be a lot of fun. Uh, it's kind of a European focus this week. Obviously, we have the UK parliamentary vote tomorrow. We have three uh, central bank decisions this week, Norway, Switzerland, and Europe, ECB. That'll be on Thursday. So we got a lot of uh, interesting European action ahead of us uh, this week. Let's start with this euro dollar chart. As we talked about on Friday, that was a weak average hourly earnings. 150 as a headline number doesn't really mean too much, it's sort of neutral. Um, but if you were patient and you were able to collect some euros in the 70s, uh, you are in good shape for the open this week. We actually opened sort of 85.95. I think the pre opened some, uh, some bullshit traded in the 80s. But um, when Tokyo came in, we just jammed this thing higher, and I think we're going to remain higher uh, today and going into the going into the middle of the week. Obviously, ECB is on Thursday, so it'll be quite interesting to see how this uh, responds to what I think the ECB is going to be. Uh, neutral to hawkish, they're not going to do too much, they're going to end QE, which everybody sort of expects. Uh, but a few of the little tweaks that they're going to work on, I think are going to be perceived as hawkish. So you have this potential hawkish, or I would say mildly hawkish, ECB. Undovish is probably the word. You have a market that's uh, long dollars, certainly short euros. Uh, this spells higher euro to me. Uh, we're working on some longs here, and we expect this uh, 114.72 to come into play today. So we're playing euro from the long side. Obviously, to add to this story, uh, you have this potential Trump impeachment proceedings mumble, grumble that's going to be happening from the House of Representatives. I think everyone in America and the world knows this guy lies pretty regularly. Uh, I guess people have maybe forgotten the fact that as the president you're not really allowed to lie to Congress. You're not really allowed uh, to lie to the CIA. And, you know, just like Clinton lying about uh, putting cigars up some girl's vagina, that that created impeachment proceedings for him, as silly as that was. Um, you know, lying whether you slept with a couple of uh, strippers or um, porn stars or whatever they are, young gals, uh, is enough to uh, piss off some people who hate you anyway. So I do I do expect impeachment proceedings to be this dark cloud um, hovering over the political scene in America. Whether this is positive or negative for the dollar, um, I don't know. I, I've ceased to to try and decide politically how currencies are going to move. Um, so, but I don't think it could be you know the the actual impeachment proceedings and the idea of impeaching a standing American president on the surface is 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 negative the secondary consequences of this and the tertiary consequences which are probably more important I have no idea but I do think at least this line of sort of media attack will also add to the dollar bearish story sort of a long-winded long-winded uh, roundabout there anyway we're long euro dollar uh, I'll shut up about that now uh, dollars are uh, same type of uh, trading we've been looking at. You want to be long dollars, you want to be short czar. This is mainly based on risk off uh, and also the you know South African economy and 
We've been over this a million times. Um, sadly, the place just looks broken to us. Uh, not that they can't fix it. We think anything is fixable. But the way policy is going and the way the economy is behaving doesn't look good uh, for the RAND uh, in the near future. So, if you were lucky enough to pick some up in the 90s, great. Otherwise, you're probably still long from that 80 to 85 area from last week. We do expect these highs to break sometime this week. So, 1421 um, is an important point. We've now had three daily highs there. You can add to longs, or you can actually get fresh long into 1421. The reason you can get fresh long is, segue to S&Ps, this sort of now has to get through 2600. There's going to be all kinds of uh, CTA action down there. There'll be uh, longs that have left their stops down there. There'll be shorts who are entering into shorts down there. Um, equities look incredibly bad. They're trading incredibly bearish. They go up on very low volume, short squeeze type up moves, and then they come down like a sledgehammer of fear with high volume uh, and indiscriminate selling. So this to me, as we've been talking about for a while now, is the, you know, this is the hallmark of a bear market or a market that's going lower. Um, so we do expect 2600 to break should probably break today this is why uh, we think also dollars are on just a risk off type trade can go higher what else is out there let's look at cable I don't know why um, cable is very hard to trade obviously 12660 is huge uh, the votes tomorrow I have no clue what's going to happen. You just need to have your scenarios. If the vote passes, and the House of Lords is basically scared into just passing this Brexit thing. Cable is going to go to 130, probably 131, um, which is the 200 day up there. Uh, and if the vote doesn't pass, I guess uh, you just try and hit a bid. Um, the money to be made is if the vote passes here. Everyone thinks it's not going to pass. It looks like it has no hope. Uh, and wouldn't this be the greatest of ironies that we all thought Brexit wouldn't happen, collapses in cable, it does happen, and now we all think they're going to vote, you know, against agreeing Brexit, and this will be the beginning of cable moving higher. There's some Murphy's Law irony to that, so I kind of like it. Um, but in general, just stay away from sterling. The headlines are, are awful. Really, really tough to trade. Um, so I mean, we'll obviously have it up watching the vote, but otherwise we pretty much stay away from it. Our focus today is on euro dollar trading from the long side. Uh, dollars are 14.21 is important, uh, and S&P's core short. Uh, we closed at 37, we opened at 26, so there's a 10 handle gap there. You know, there's a likelihood that will get filled. Uh, that is a fade once it's filled. But core short from here on out looks um, like a steady, correct trade for us. I've said enough on this Monday. Good trading out there, people. Make some money, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Ciao.